G'day reefers. Today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV is all about problem anemones. How to rid these nasties from your tank. So we've been called out today to deal with some problem anemones in this customer's tank. And so we'll get set up and then we'll show you exactly how we identify and deal with these problems. So let's have a look at the different pest anemones that are in this tank. So there are two species. We have Aptasia, which you can see there's some massive ones in the back. They're kind of hidden amongst the rocks. They're not out the front as much, so they might be a little bit more difficult for us to get out of the tank. But we've also got some others up here, which are Majanos. Now, these guys can be a little bit more difficult, but at least they're out in the open, and you can see how they're proliferating all over the rock. The problem with these anemones is that they can sting corals, they can get out of control, and they can be a real nuisance in the tank. So we have to get them out. So we'll run you through the, way and, uh, the ways and we'll show you how we get rid of the pest anemones in this tank. So we're going to use two systems to rid this tank of pest anemones. The first is going to be manual removal and killing the Aptasia majanos using two different treatments. First of all, we're going to be using Aptasia X, which is a topical treatment. You squirt it onto the pest anemone. And we're also going to be using white vinegar with a syringe to inject into the majanos. So this is the first system. And the next thing that we'll do afterwards is we will introduce some little critters which are going to help by eating the pest anemones as well. But we'll show you those in, uh, in a few minutes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn off all of the water movement in the tank. So we have two wave makers and the return pump. And this is gonna make it much easier to use the Aptasia X and the vinegar to inject into the anemones. So it's very important to have good access into the tank so that you can be very particular with the way that you use these treatments. Now, it's important to note that this is actually uh, the first thing that I'm doing. I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to use the Aptasia treatment straight away and I'm going to give the tank as much time with the treatment on the anemones as possible before I do the normal water change and service. So I'll start with the Aptasia X. So you can see this is a massive Aptasia and I'm going to try and get as much of the Aptasia Rex right in the center. There's another one down the, the bottom which I'm going to try and get. So I've got some of the larger Aptasia using the Aptasia X, but I'm actually gonna to switch to some uh, vinegar now because some of these are a bit difficult to get with the Aptasia X based on the position that they're seeing in the tank. But also the Majanos, I find that the vinegar is a more effective method for killing them. So 
So I have a hypodermic syringe. So I'll start with these big ones down the bottom. I'm just injecting into the base. And I'm putting in a fair, fairly large amount of vinegar. Now I'll go through and do these little Majanos. So I try and get them just at the base. And that way you can be sure that the syringe is going into the actual anemone. The other reason why I do this at the start of the service, i.e. before the water change, so that I can use more vinegar without worrying about an effect on the pH because I'll be water changing it out afterwards. All right, I'll reload again. I do try and keep note of how much vinegar I've used so that I don't use too much. All right, get these ones here. This would be a good one. Reload. So I've pretty much finished using that Tagerex and the vinegar. And so I've used a combination of the two, partly because we've got Majanos which don't respond as well to the Tagerex, and because of the position of some of the pest anemones. So now my plan is to leave the tank as it is without the flow for as long as possible so that the Tagerex can have as much time as possible to kill the Aptasia. So I'm gonna give it a good 15, 20 minutes. And in that time, I'll do some work on the filter, uh, I'll test the water, clean the skimmer, that sort of thing. And then I'll come back and do the water change and um, we'll add the biological control that we have to help stop these guys coming back. So I've just had a look around the side of the tank and I've noticed something interesting. In the overflow, we have a number of very large Aptasia. So what I'm going to do is drain out the water and I'm going to work out a way that I can remove or kill these guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pull these two out I'm actually just going to use a scouring pad. Okay, I'm taking as much of the tissue as possible. I think I've got pretty much all of them. Now, they did squirt out what was probably their lava, but with the biological control that we're going to add, I'm not too worried about small ones coming back. But there's also a couple on the overflow stem. Now it's going to be difficult to reach those so I'm going to try something else. I'm going to get some hot water. Um, no, I tried cappuccino last time, it didn't work so we'll go hot water. Right, 
So let's see how this goes. Some hot water. Been careful not to burn myself. Try not to put it down the overflow stem if I can help it. All right. Okay, well, I think I got him. And if nothing else, the smell of the burning tissue is indicating to me that I've killed that, that Aptasia, I think it was. So hopefully we've cleared the overflow of Aptasia. Sometimes you can have Aptasia and other problem anemones in the sump, but luckily this tank doesn't seem to have any down there. So just a quick disclaimer about using hot water in your tank. You do have to be very careful of a number of things. First of all, you need to be careful that you don't do damage to your tank. If you tip too much hot water onto glass, you can of course cause it to crack. You could probably also do damage to the silicon or other parts of the tank. So I use it very carefully. I also ensure that I don't use hot water over things like uh, zoanthids or pallies or anything like that. Potentially, if you do put hot water onto a pally, you can cause the pally toxin to vaporize and it can be quite dangerous. So I've used this very carefully, ensuring that I just kill the one Aptasia that is on that overflow stem. All right, so now back to the tank. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually sucking out the corpses of these Majanos. So I pretty much just go over Majano, pinch and pull. And if you're lucky, you'll get, there we go, you get the whole anemone. It's not an overly effective way uh, of killing them, but um, once you've used the treatment, the vinegar or the Aptasia Rex, it does loosen them a little bit and you can pull the whole anemone out. So we've done a 30% water change. And so we needed to do that just so that we can remove as much of the vinegar as possible and just correct the pH of the water. So we're just filling back up now. So we've killed most of the large problem anemones in this tank, but now we need to do something to stop little ones from coming back. So this is our secret weapon. I'll put them into the bucket and we'll have a look what we've got. So we have six peppermint shrimp. Now peppermint shrimp are great at eating small Aptasia and so our hope is that we've killed the big ones with the treatments and these guys will stop little ones from coming back. So we're just going to acclimate them into the tank. I like to give shrimp a fairly slow and long acclimation. So we'll give these guys at least 45 minutes before they go into the tank. Okay, so we're all done. So what we've done today, we've used two treatments. We've used Aptasia X and Vinegar to kill as many of the Aptasia and Majanos as possible. And we've also physically removed some of them through siphoning with the pinch and pull. And we've added six peppermint shrimp to stop them from coming back. So we'll have a look at this tank again in another a week or so. 
and we'll see how successful we've been at getting rid of these problem anemones. So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's gonna be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy, and keep on reefing.